Well, hello. It's Monday. God bless you guys. Hey, we're going to talk about something really uh, powerful. And it's a word that it's not used very much. It's a concept that in our society now has kind of been swept under the rug. But today, it's going to be resurrected. And it's going to do incredible things for your life. You can reach, you know, the rest of our resources at mfhlb.com. That's mfhlb.com. And you can go to the uh, button there where it says, uh, uh, you know, give online. And also... Also, now, um, on Facebook, you can also go to a button that says, it says shop now, but what it's doing is you can also give online at Facebook on our, uh, my father's house, Las Vegas, Facebook. So if you're watching live, Everything goes to help the people here in our city, and uh, yes, we're just doing the work for Jesus. Uh, today, uh, the team, and it's a fantastic team. If you're here in Las Vegas, I would love for you to meet them. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do a podcast with all of them. Oh, yes, but they're the ones that distribute, you know, the food. I'm, I'm part of the team. I, I like, you know, having hands-on. In uh, Today, one of the places that we're going to be delivering food to is Sunrise Hospital, the security there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that need came to our notice, and, uh, and that's one of the places. Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, it's going to be really really awesome doing that. So uh, my wife would like to explain to you because she's going to be busy on the phone and. Mm -hmm. We're giving time for people to log on right now. Yes. Um, what I do is I go to uh, my friends on Facebook, and so I will be uh, asking them to join us on a watch party. And then also, after the watch party is over, I mean, not over, but you do that, then you can also just start inviting your friends to go onto Facebook so that they can watch today's um, broadcast. Uh, Chico and Sammy <laughs> would, uh, uh, would like to extend uh, a greetings to you, too. Those are our two Dobermans. Um, I want you to think about this. Okay? When was the last time you heard somebody use the word meek or meekness. When was the last time, just stop and think right now, when was the last time hmm, that I heard somebody use the word meek or meekness? You're going to find out that you might have a hard time identifying the last time you heard that word. But we're going to resurrect that word and that power today. I want you to listen to this. I was going through some of my old, old notes. And this is one of the things that I've learned through the years. Are you ready? We're going to talk about four points in, in this area called meekness. Listen to this. The meek man knows well that the world will never see him as God sees him. And he has stopped caring. He knows that the world will never see him or her like God sees them. But he stopped caring. Mm. 
meekness sets you free in the right way about caring too much about what people think about you. There is the wrong type of, I don't care what anybody thinks about me, that pride and arrogant style of, I don't have to answer nobody. But this is not what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. If somebody thinks you're foolish because you're meek, weak, stop caring, the meek man, the meek woman has stopped caring mm -hmm. and they're free from that burden. They're free. Free. Completely free. Number two, the meek man or woman is happy to let God defend them. Defending himself or herself is over. What a burden rolled off of you. Mm -hmm. huh. You know what that's called? The meek peace. I'm going to tell you one more time. The meek man or woman is happy to let God defend him or her. Defending himself or herself is over. The meekness, the meek peace comes upon you. Number three, the fear of man more learned than yourself, than me. Somebody that's more charming. Somebody that is, you know, more learned. The fear of man more learned, or woman more learned than me, than us. This burden kills the victim. It'll kill you. It'll kill you. That's why we have that old saying, keeping up with the Joneses, everybody has to be the one. This burden kills the victim. There's people in debt right now because they have to have something nicer than somebody else. They have to have more prestige. The fear of man more learned than he or her. There is no release. No release from our burdens apart from the meekness of Jesus. Where you're free. You're free from having to be the shiny as that. That meekness will set you free and you'll be more creative. You will excel. You want to know why? Because you'll be free through the peace of meekness to be who God called you to be. Free. You know what Jesus called it? You know what Jesus called all of this? He calls it my yoke. My yoke. God wants to set us free so we can have a more abundant life. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to read the way Jesus put it. A lot better than me. The verses are Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Again, Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. Come unto me, O ye that labor and are heavy laden, 
the world. You're carrying your own burdens. Carrying all the responsibility, everything that is going on. And Jesus said, come to me. I love you. I'll give you peace. Come unto me, O ye that are la uh, that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Do you see the yoke? What is the yoke? The yoke. <laughs> what is the yoke? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. See, learn how he did it. Remember, a lot of people become a legend after they're dead and gone. And Jesus became a legend because he died and he came back. Mm -hmm. Now, nobody else can make that claim. Everybody else, oh yes, they were a great legend, they were a great patriarch, they were this, but Jesus is. No, he is the great one. Don't ever forget that, my friend. I'll never forget that. Remember, he split time. Time is measured before and after. And you're moving into after your new time, your new life. For I am meek and lowly. Did you see that? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me how he did it, who he is. For I am meek and lowly in heart. That's why everybody knows him. That's why the Bible is the most sold book in the history of man. No one will ever beat that to this day. Why? He was the meek champion. You, your championship has been taken away from you. But now you will attach yourself to Jesus and his meek. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Do you see the rest? My yoke is easy. It's easy once you learn the secret of meekness. I don't care. I don't have to be the prettiest girl in the room or the most handsome guy. I know that there's only one me and nobody can do me better than me. Glory to God. You are perfect for your part in this theater of life. You are perfect. You've been casted by the will of God. And you will receive your Academy Award in heaven. For your terrific part. I want to read it one last time. The first point. The meek man knows well. That the world will never see him. As God sees him. And he has stopped caring. Be free. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray your meekness. We receive it, the true meekness. Lord, we will use that word. We will walk in that character of meekness. Because the reward is peace and being like you. Have a great, great day. And we're starting this week with a power of meekness. Free. Do you have anything to say, baby? No. I just want to tell everybody out there, we love you guys. And we miss you. And it's good to have this time with you. So, God bless you all. And love all of you. Now we throw our kiss to Jesus from the Father. And the Holy Spirit. Bye-bye. May the Holy Spirit haunt you with his peace. Yes.